Nancy Brown here. Thanks for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick veiners. Now these aren't silicon veins and I've done videos using these little silicon veins before but I just thought I'm going to show you a quick trick. Um, now because it's autumn I've been in the garden and I have brought, well brought, I've picked up all of these beautiful leaves, all different shapes and sizes. Now if you're in the cake industry or the craft industry, you will know that to buy a veiner this size is gonna cost you probably 50 pounds. They're really expensive. Even the smaller ones can cost you 30 pounds. So what I'm going to do is show you a little cheating method. So I'm gonna look through my veins, and uh, look through the veins, sorry, look through the leaves, and I'm after a leaf that's probably kind of looking good with all the veins we just have a look we don't want any holes in them and there's I mean there's some beautiful ones here there's a huge one which I'll tackle another day <laughs> so lots and lots of beautiful leaves that's a lovely shape as well we're spoiled for choice really because there's so many wonderful wonderful leaves but I think I'm going to choose this one now what we've done is I am using Artista Soft and this is the deluxe one so it comes with this um grey container. So I've already got it out of the packet and this is what I'm working with. So it's lovely air drying clay. Really nice to work with. I do make flowers and other things with this. But a lot of people don't realise all of the wonderful things you can actually make with it. So what I'm doing to start with, I just kind of get that rough shape of the leaf. Now I'm going to press down roll out and I'm not rolling thin I want this to be quite thick because we're making a veiner now your veiner won't dry um, pliable so it won't be able to bend but it will have the impressions of the leaf so just see where you need to go with that whether you need bits to be wider thinner we just make sure that's all looking good And we make sure that's fine. Now there's two ways of doing this. If I push the leaf in so that the back piece goes in, that's lovely. But remember, when you're when you're reproducing the leaves, you're only ever going to use uh, have the veins of the back of the leaf. We actually want the front of the leaf because that's the things that are mostly on show. So I'm going to turn it upside down. Make sure you cornflower the base. And then we put the leaf on top and we press. Now, a quick tip for you is to press here first and then gently use your fingers and walk up and out right to the end. And I tend to work on the one side first, like so. We're just pressing down. Now, the more you press down, the better the veins. And then you can see this bit's still loose, so we just move along and press down those, like so. So we cover them all. Now make sure it's covered. If it's not covered, you're going to know about it. Now to leave that to dry, you can leave it there, but because it's on the board, it's not going to get the air to the bottom. So I would normally bring over a piece of sponge, let it dry on a piece of sponge. Make sure you're happy and you think you've pressed down everywhere you can. Now you can leave it to dry while it's in situ. I don't because I really want to know what it looks like. So I am going to gently peel the leaf away. And there we are. Can you just about see those lovely veins on there? So that looks really good. And you've got the edging as well. So you can then just roll out your sugar paste, press it against there, and then you have your veiner. Really quick and simple to do. I am just going to show you the other side as well. So you can see how you can get that impression. Now I've obviously had um, dusting colours here because my paste is changing colour, <laughs> which happens. So what I'm going to do is just mix it all up. You would obviously leave that to dry. But the beauty is, if you do go wrong, don't panic. Just do what I've done. Screw it up and do it again. There's no right or wrong 
method of doing this. And then we roll out. And then, now this time I'm gonna use the back of the leaf and you can make multiple veiners for using the back. I am gonna put it on the sponge this time. And then I'm using the back of the leaf exactly the same. Remember we press down at the bottom and then we press those veins in. Now because we've pressed down, I'm hoping this is gonna work. We've already used this leaf before, but they're really strong leaves. So I think this will be absolutely fine. So we can certainly do a back and a front of this, but we must remember that when it's dry, it will be just an impression. Now you can do so many different things. You can do little doggy paw prints with it. You can do, um, you can do baby's feet um, or hand prints so many things this clay i know i just use it for making flowers but my goodness it does so much more it's quite amazing so now like i said before you can leave it to dry i'm going to pull that away and can you see that beautiful leaf impression so look at that isn't that wonderful you could always sign a little name down there and put a date on it but I think that's really lovely. Leave it to dry, it will dry solid, and there you have your picture, or your veiner. There's no reason why you can't use that. Put it in a frame, um, and write people's names on there, write little wishes and color it up, you know, if they like bright colors. So many things you can do with this clay. But, hope you've enjoyed the video. That was my quick little tip for you today, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching.